Adventures of L and M. Written by Isabel C. Noboa. Illustrated by Boljana Stojanovic. The rain tapped on the window. L and her sister M stared at the gray, gloomy skies. They watched the rain go tap, tap, tap. Aunt Izzy, I'm so bored, said Elle sadly. I wish we could play outside. Well, we can play make-believe inside, said Izzy. How? asked Elle. By using these magical markers, answered Izzy. Elle and M stared at the magical markers with wonder. How are they magical, Aunt Izzy? asked Elle. Well, we can use them to draw any place that we can imagine, and it will take us there. L and M's faces lit up with excitement, dazzled by the array of colors in front of them. The three of them drew a kingdom with a pink castle made of cookies and colorful cotton candy trees. How beautiful, exclaimed Izzy. What shall we call this kingdom? Elamania, said L proudly. Izzy and her two nieces held hands, closed their eyes, and soon they were in Elamania as princesses. The pink castle stood tall, surrounded by colorful cotton candy trees. This place is so magical, exclaimed Elle. Em clapped her hands with delight. Elle, Em, and Aunt Izzy rolled and played on the grass happily. Suddenly, the sky darkened. Rain was soon to come. The raindrops began falling. When the three tasted the rain, it was chocolate. Em stretched her arms and twirled happily as the chocolate rain fell on her. It's raining chocolate, yelled Elle in happiness. Can you believe it? They all danced in the rain, tasting the sweet drops, their long hair covered in chocolate. Em skipped until she reached the gates of the castle. Elle and Izzy skipped behind her. They entered the pink cookie castle to find it was full of bubbles, a pool sparkling with glitter, and toys galore. Before they could jump in the pool, they heard a loud sound coming from outside of the castle. Came a loud roar, then came a scary sound. Ellen M grew scared and hugged Aunt Izzy for comfort. A dragon was eating the pink cookie castle. Oh no, cried Elle. The dragon will eat us. The dragon's breath was getting closer, its wide mouth taking big bites of the castle. The dragon's breath getting closer as it kept chomp, chomp, chomping away at the pink cookie castle. M grabbed a candy cane sword and bravely held it up against the dragon, protecting Elle and Izzy. I know, let's draw a door. That way we can get back home, said Izzy. Izzy searched for the magical markers, but couldn't find them. They must have fallen in the pool, she gasped. Elle and Izzy jumped into the sparkling water and searched frantically for the magical markers. I found them, Elle exclaimed. M jumped into the pool into Izzy's arms. The three swam to the bottom of the glittery pool. They drew a door and made it back home safely. Phew, what a relief, Elle exclaimed. I thought that dragon would eat us too. Can we go somewhere else? M held the magical marker up, ready to draw another adventure. How about the, the ocean, said Elle. We can be mermaids and swim with dolphins. That's a great idea, Elle, said Izzy. L, M, and Izzy drew a big ocean full of wonders. The three of them, now mermaids, swam deep in the ocean, passing schools of colorful fish, a sunken ship, and buried treasure. But something lurked in the dark, making its way towards them. What could it be? A, uh, a uh, giant octopus! Whoosh! Its tentacles reached for the three mermaids. Oh no, yelled L. It has your tail, Aunt Izzy. M grabbed the magical markers and drew a door in the ocean. Izzy grabbed L and M by their hands and swam with all her might through the door. That was so much fun, said L. Can we do one more? M jumped up with excitement. Now girls, I think it's time for bed, said Izzy firmly. Please, oh please, pleaded L. Just one more adventure? M clapped excitedly in agreement. Okay, one more adventure, said Izzy, and then it's bedtime. Pinky promise, Elle said sweetly. They drew the planets, the stars, and the moon. Soon the drawing was finished, and they were floating in outer space. 
the large black skies lit up with the lights of millions of stars. The three of them floated joyfully. They did cartwheels, backflips, and danced in space, stars all around them. Wow, Earth looks like a small blue marble from here, said Elle in amazement. Suddenly, a big, scary, fiery meteor came flying towards them. Oh no, cried Elle. Em was floating away from them, and the meteor was flying closer to her. Izzy reached for her, extending her body far, farther, and as far as it could go, but she couldn't reach her. Elle jumped up and drew a jetpack on Izzy's back. This pushed her close to Em. Izzy grabbed Em and brought her back safely into her arms. Holding Em and Elle in her arms, Aunt Izzy said sweetly, I will always protect you, my darlings. They sat and watched the earth, so sleepy from their misadventures. Can we go home now, Aunt Izzy? It's bedtime, said Elle. Izzy carried her sleepy nieces in her arms and drew a door back home. Finally home, Elle, Em, and Izzy were ready for bedtime. They curled into bed together for a final adventure. Today was the best day ever, Aunt Izzy, said Elle sleepily. Em breathed heavily as she was falling fast asleep. Aunt Izzy held them close and kissed their heads. Good night, my little adventurers. The end.